photo of us as Veto. <laughs> It's Jay and today I'm here with my Frenzy haul. I got to go to Frenzy Presents in Toronto this year and we get like a swag bag that includes some arcs and some other things so I thought I would share with you guys what I got. So without further ado, let us get started. So I guess I'll start with the arcs first because that's probably what people are most interested in. So I got a total of five arcs. In the swag bag you actually get three but two people said they didn't want them so they just kind of gave them to me because they owned them or they just weren't interested and they didn't ask me to trade anything even though I offered so thank you to those people I'm very grateful but the first arc that I received in my bag was Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds. This follows a boy named Jack who falls in love with a girl named Kate. He doesn't expect her to die suddenly and then he is sent back over and over and over to the first day that they met. So each trip back offers some new way that he can try to save Kate but every time he changes something in the past, his future for his friends and family are also changed. So it's basically the story of Jack and what he's willing to do for Kate and the people that he loves but it sounds really good. I've been hearing a lot of praise for it from the people who have already read it so I'm very excited to check this one out and it's supposed to be released sometime in March. The next one I got was one that somebody wasn't interested in so they just gave it to me because they already had a copy I believe is what it was. It is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acedo. I'm probably saying that wrong but this is the author who wrote Poet X which had like huge reviews and everybody seemed to love. So I'm very intrigued about this. It's about a teenage mom who is struggling with trying to find time between her kid and her interests in cooking. She has this magical ability where she makes her food magic somehow. She wants to take her school's culinary classes but she doesn't have the time like I said and it's basically her trying to like figure that out. I'm intrigued. I think it's gonna be really good and also the cover is like gorgeous so I'm very excited to pick this one up. The next one that I got in my bag this is one that I wanted so I was really excited when I pulled it out. It's The Beholder by Anna Bright and the way that they described this was The Bachelorette on a boat and like I'm here for it. I'm so excited. It follows a girl named Sela whose sole purpose on land because she's the daughter of some very wealthy person is to find the perfect match so her stepmother decides that she's going to set her off on the Atlantic and that's how she's gonna find her perfect man but her stepmother is a very conniving not the best person so she has a lot of schemes that she's planning and it's basically her trying to find her perfect match but the bachelorette on a boat I'm so excited. And it also said that it was for fans of the Selection series and Caraval. The Selection series is like my guilty pleasure. So again, I'm really excited. The next book I have somebody just gave to me because they weren't really interested in it. But again, it was one that I was really interested in. So I was very excited when they gave it to me. But it is The Exact Opposite of OK by Laura Steven. It follows an 18 year old named Izzy who finds herself in a very promiscuous situation with the son of a senator and that puts her in the middle of the gossip ring of high school. She's always been one to just laugh herself out of situations but it becomes a scandal on the news and basically she can't just laugh it off this time and it's basically the story of that trying to like survive high school I guess. So I think it sounds real good and I'm really excited and also apparently her best friend Dan has feelings for her that she's not reciprocating so there's that side plot as well. Me, Zoe, and Julia have deemed this the sex book of this time around because last time we had a sex book so now we got another one. And then the final book that I got in my own bag was Let's Call It Doomsday by Katie Henry and this is the author of Heretics Anonymous which a lot of people seem to love but this has really good anxiety rep apparently but it follows a girl named Elise who is terrified that the apocalypse is going to happen and when she goes for her therapy session one day she meets another girl who actually has seen the end of the world so it's basically them working together to try to figure out when the end of the world is going to happen and what's going to happen all that jazz comforting each other they become friends 
I'm excited. I think it's gonna be a really good book and apparently, like I said, the anxiety rep is really well done, so I'm excited to see that. So now on to the items we got in our swag bag. If you see over there, my little frenzy mug, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I think it's like the cutest thing ever. That was in our bag. We got the swag bag itself, the little frenzy tote. We got one last summer when they had this. I think this is like their staple, but it says, let's get literary, which I think is such a great catchphrase. So we got that. And then I'm really excited about this. A lot of people weren't very excited about it because they already have it because it was in an owl crate box, but your girl doesn't get owl crate. I am not sponsored. So it is this lovely pillowcase and it says, when you can't beat the odds, change the game. And I think it's from Six of Crows, but I haven't read that, so I don't know. I think it's real nice and it's real soft, so I like. And then we also got two like candy item things. The first one we got are these little like birthday cake flavored candies. It's got like little sprinkles in it. They're really good. I already ate one. I gave one to my mom as well. But they're handmade by Sweet Artesian Candies. And then the next thing that we got was another like candy. I think it's like a taffy. It doesn't really say what it is. It just says handcrafted candy made in Toronto, simply delicious. And it's from Golden Ticket Candy. And then we also got some loose leaf tea. Oh, dropped it. Loose leaf tea, but it's by Tealish and it's delicious detox for the wellness guru inside you. But it's green tea. I don't drink tea, so I'm probably just going to give it to my best friend because I gave her a tea steeper steamer thingy for her birthday or Christmas. I gave it for Christmas. So at least I know she can use it. So that's where this is going to head on off to. And then we also got another pop socket. I think we get a pop socket every time because we got one last time we went. Mine's up there because uh, my phone has a corgi butt on it. So pop socket ain't gonna work. But it says the Valentines. I don't know if that's like a book or something. I have no idea. And then the final thing we got in our little swag bag was this bath bomb. It's the blueberry cheesecake flavor not flavor, scented, because please don't eat these, they probably don't taste good, but it's by Da Bomb. I don't know how I feel about bath bombs, they kind of scare me because like you're letting all of that into your hoo-ha and that scares me, but I have one, I might just give it to my mom because she likes bath bombs, but we'll see, maybe I'll just like put my feet in it, I don't know, we'll see what we're feeling with this. Alright guys, so that was the things that we got from Frenzy Presents. I want to say thank you so much to Frenzy for letting me be a part of this event again. It's so much fun. I appreciate it very much. Let me know down below if you guys are excited for any of these books and if you're gonna read them and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!